What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Chanel, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the glitter bottles. It's really easy, really simple. All you have to do is pay attention and do what I tell you to do, and everything will turn out fine. You can do these for any kind of events, um, birthday parties, you know, weddings, whatever events y'all have going on. It's real simple. I did mine for my 21st birthday. Um, as y'all know, I'm going to Jamaica. So the plan is to fly to Jamaica with these bottles. Um, how? I don't know. If anybody's ever flew with alcohol, let me know. Let me know how y'all did it because Lord knows I don't have time for this bottle to bust in my suitcase and ruin all my clothes. That'd be the worst thing ever. Stay tuned and we're gonna jump right into this video. Okay guys, so for this we're gonna need a sponge, sort of like this. We're gonna need a plate, probably two plates. We're also gonna need some tape. Any kind of tape will do. This is just the tape that I have. Um, we're gonna need Mod Podge. Make sure you have the clear sealer kind, the spray on kind. It's way easier to work with. We're also going to need clear Elmer's glue. And of course, you're gonna need your bottles. Um, for this video, I only did one bottle. I just did the Patron bottle. It was the smallest, it was quickest to do. So that's what we're working with. You're gonna need your glitter, any kind of glitter, doesn't matter, any glitter will work. So, to begin, we're gonna get the tape and we're gonna line it across the, um, what do you call this? The label. <laughs> line it across the label. Try to get it as close kind of to the edges as possible. Doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but just try to get it close to the edges. Once you place the tape down, just make sure that it's close to the edge. Try to cut as close to the edge as possible where the tape is actually fitting the label. I'm just going to take my scissors and gently push back the tape a little bit just to get the parts that I can't really cut to kind of disappear off the bottle so that the tape can actually perfectly fit the label. continue to tape over the label and cut around the edges and then you know scrape the tape along the edges where you can't cut just so the tape can fit perfectly. So as you see, if it's almost perfect, it doesn't have to be super perfect, but you know, you get the concept of it. Alright, 
so we're just gonna tape the top layer the top label I mean <laughs> we're gonna tape the top label and do the exact same thing we did to the bottom label to the top Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it does need to be neat and nice so the bottle turns out good. Alright, so let's get down to the real deal thing here. So you're going to set your bottle on one plate. On the other plate, put the Elmer's glue on the plate. That way you can dip your sponge into the glue. Also, you guys can use Mod Podge for this instead of Elmer's glue. I personally prefer Elmer's glue just because Mod Podge was too messy for me. Okay, so we're going to brush the glue on the outside of the tape. You can brush the glue over the tape, but me personally, I like to outline it just because when you're removing the tape, it makes it 10 times easier. If you go over the tape with the glue, when you put your glitter on there, it's going to stick and you're going to have no clue where the tape is. So we're going to sprinkle the glitter wherever we put the glue at. It's going to seem like we're wasting a lot of glitter, but that's why the plate's there, so it can catch all the glitter. We can pour it back into the container and reuse it. So we're going to shake the bottle just to get all the remaining glitter off of there the glitter that's not sticking to the glue and we're gonna grab the sponge dip it in the glue and go in on the other side just cover the whole entire other side Again, we're just going to sprinkle the glitter wherever we put the glue at. And then once we fill this whole side up, we're going to shake it onto the plate. I personally do not put tape over the back label that's just me but if you guys want to you're more than welcome to do it
we're gonna get our Mod Podge and we're just gonna kind of spray from a far distance just spray over the entire bottle I would personally do this outside just because it's so strong it smells really, really strong inside of the house but that is our last step you guys and after that you just sit and let it dry